Good morning, folks. We've got several things to hit here today, including space weather, deep space images, pre-seismic electromagnetic signals, climate notes, and the local space around the solar system. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and it was a much calmer day both up at the sun and here at Earth. Peripheral filament snaps only, while the geomagnetic storm activity has waned back with only minor reverberations of the previous day's solar storm. We're still expecting the coronal hole stream to impact today, the one that came out of the now departing dark patch on the south. Geomagnetic activity could have a bit of a resurgence when that enhanced stream arrives. Eyes on the solar wind. But right now, let's kick off the articles with James Webb and Chandra. They're combining the infrared and X-ray views to take a look into deep space and identify an active galactic nucleus. While there is the standard slate of black hole science delivered along with the article, the real aspect is that it is the furthest energetic galactic core ever confirmed. Took both satellites to do so. Up next, we're back at Earth for more piling on to the heap of studies on pre-seismic signals. Not only is long-wave radiation confirmed, again, but the few studies we've seen on humidity anomalies gets a nice boost as well. Big quakes giving themselves away beforehand in various ways. Double dose of climate up next, starting with significant problems in the latest atmospheric circulation and weather model. Still can't get the system to spit out realistic information, which is a long-standing failure they don't really like talking about. Also, we have one that definitively declares the correlation is real between the slowdowns of the ocean currents and major cold snaps on the planet. What are those currents doing now? Yes, that's right. Last but not least, folks, they are saying that a significant feature in the cosmic ray spectrum can be traced to shock waves just outside the solar system. They give several guesses as to what the source of those shocks might be, but you know what they don't mention? The galactic current sheet, which contains both exterior and interior shocks and which is surrounding our solar system now. Folks, later today we will be shutting down the pre-orders for the new book. There are only a couple of them left in this first batch anyway, so if you wanted the simplified version of the Earth disaster cycle for the holidays, last shot here next couple hours. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.